Ashley here from Empowerment Nursing, and you are tuning in to our application of In the Know, where today we are applying when there's two right answers, not two plus two, just two. If you tuned into our Facebook Live from earlier this week, you will know there is never two right answers. There is always a principle that makes one answer the right answer. So in our Facebook Live earlier this week, we gave away some of those um, key things. So have a look at that, and that should help you in preparing for your registration process. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate that through a test question. So here's our question. The nurse working on the oncology unit is caring for a patient with lung cancer who is having difficulty breathing. Which of the following is the most appropriate action of the nurse? Our options are A, apply oxygen, B, place the patient into high fowlers, C, phone the physician, and D, auscultate breath sounds. These are the most frustrating questions for graduates because you can justify doing all of those things based on some type of deep critical rationale, right? In the real world, I would sit them up and I would put on oxygen. I might call the doctor and I would also auscultate breath sounds, right? Like I would do all of those things, but there's only one thing that you're going to do in this situation and that's because it comes down to a rule of knowing. There's no guessing involved. There's actually very little critical thinking here. It comes down to a rule. Our correct answer is B. You place that patient in high Fowler's position. So this never changes for any type of respiratory distress. Your very first thing you do, you sit that patient up before you put oxygen on. You sit that patient up before you call the doctor. You sit that patient up before you auscultate breath sounds. And that's because when you sit up straight, you allow the lungs to expand fully, right? So you can take in a deep breath and get more oxygen in, which improves gas exchange, which improves oxygenation. So think about it critically, right? That matters more than auscultating breath sounds. That matters more than calling the doctor. It might take the doctor five minutes to get there. You want that patient to breathe better in the meantime. And applying oxygen, while that's a great idea, you need to increase that lung capacity first. So again, our correct answer, you always sit that patient up before you do anything else in respiratory distress. So thank you so much for joining me this week on our application of In the Know. For the answer to this question and more, you can indeed check out our complete study package where we give away a lot of those principles of knowing to take the guessing out of your study process. We'll see you next time.